Happy Sunday, everyone. Gonna give it a minute uh, for somebody to pop on. But I think I got everything ready. Um, I don't know if you can see, but we have a we have a visitor with us today. This is Archie. Archie is um, almost 20 pounds. He's a big kitty cat, but he's a he's a big baby. He's Mama's big baby. Hi, Cindy. Whew. I know I was actually um, on time today, so. But thank you for joining us. Um, hey, Veronica. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, I don't know if y'all can see Archie off to my right, but um, he's hanging out with me today. He's kind of bummed because um, Bino's not around right now. So, oh well, he'll be okay. But thank you guys for joining me this afternoon. Um, if you've not watched any of my videos before, my name is Barbara Ragsdale and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stamp It Up. And we are a paper crafting company and we specialize in all types of paper crafting products. So whether you've never heard of Stampin' Up or whether you've heard of them and used to do it um, or you're pretty avid or even if you're a demonstrator, then uh, you know that Stampin' Up products, they're pretty quality products that you're not going to be able to find in your big box store. So with Stampin' Up, they make it so much easy, so easy, so much easier when it comes to uh, color coordinations and things of that sort. So if you're looking for paper that matches your ribbon, that matches your ink, that matches um, any accessories, then yes, you're gonna find that with Stampin' Up. So, um, but I do have, um, the other day I was browsing and this is where I got the idea to do this for today. So. I know that um, we've all been in that situation where you see something at the store and you know it's $19.99 or $29.99 or whatever it is and you're like I could make that well I was browsing somehow I got a Kirkland's coupon in my inbox and I've never I mean I've shopped at Kirkland's before but it's been a long time so I thought well let me just click on it and and see uh, what the sale is all about. And when I clicked on it, I noticed um, some plaid Christmas decorations. And I was like, oh, those were kind of cute. And then it made me think, well, we have the new, the Christmas plaid uh, designer series paper. We have um, a stamp set. We have, um, the, I, it, it, anyway, it just got me thinking, we have all of that. I can make that. And I was like kind of giggling inside because I was like, no, really, I can make that. Um, we just happen to have the right Stampin' Up! products. So that's where I got the idea from. So hi, Landa. Um, so I, I picked out two projects. One's super, super simple. And then the other one's just a little bit involved, but not too much. It's more, um, hi, Joyce. It's more uh, die cutting. And then when I started doing the second one, I realized that the alphabet set that I intended to use, I don't have. And I'm like, oh no. But fortunately, I have a really favorite retired set. It's, it's retired, but I'm just pulling one little letter out of it. But uh, when we get to that one, you'll see what I'm talking about. So. Um, but that's where I got my inspiration for today. And I'm going to show you the actual picture off of Kirkland's website. And then I did a sample, but then I'm going to do another one for the demonstration today. So there's only two projects today. And so, um, let's see, what else? Don't forget about the monthly online ordering special. Um, I didn't put I didn't bring my cards right here with me because if y'all could see what I'm working with I literally have just this like 13 9 by 13 spot to work with hi Jackie <laughs> and the rest is a mess I've been recovering chairs I've been trying to get better and 
I, it's just a mess. I'm like, oh my gosh. So there's there's a lot of clutter in front of me, and it's it's kind of it's kind of driving me nuts. But um, but there is the monthly online ordering special, and the the kit was um, I don't even remember what the kit special is. I'd have to go back and look. That's how like foggy my my brain is right now. But um, but if you go to my website and go check it out. It'll list it on there. It may come to me later. But when I point the camera down, you'll see the host code, and then you'll see the QR code that. So while you're watching it, you can just scan it, and it takes you straight to my website, um, so that you can place your order, and you don't have to worry about putting in the host code. So let's go ahead and get started, so that we can do the drawings for last week. And I'll go ahead and get the camera pointed down. Hopefully you didn't see all that mess that was right there, but there's the QR code. There's my name. I'm going to pull the, the light down just a little bit more. Get some light down in here. But if you remember last week, we decided, I decided to use the uh, Celebrations bundle, the two stamp sets, and we made these two pretty cards. Wishing you it was a birthday card and then a Christmas card. Just showing you the two uh, different stamp sets and all of the dies, the curvy dies that um, you could use with that. And remember, this um, this is a demonstrator pre-order only. So um, if you were looking, if you were trying to find these stamp sets, which, let me see, I have them right in front of me. That's part of my mess in front of me. And one was quite curvy, and the other one was curvy Christmas, and then it had the uh, matching dies. But it also has um, the designer series paper. It comes in a whole bundle. Um, but that's only for demonstrators right now to, to order. Uh, quite curvy, the one on the left, is going to be in the next mini catalog. And this one uh, will is a, is a seasonal thing. So come November 1st, you'll be able to order both of these. But if you sign up and purchase your kit, then you can pre-order those and have those items be part of your kit. So let's give away these two cards. I got the wheel. I double checked everything this morning to make sure that uh, we were good to go with the wheel and I didn't have to go back and enter anything. And if you commented, you liked, you shared, if you shared, your name is in there twice. Um, but so f when you share, you obviously you get more entries. But let's see who wins. I know I said it for long, so let's see how long it goes. Is it gonna be? Oh. Corrine. I wanna hope I hope I pronounce this right. Corrine Bouvia. Bavia. But congratulations, Corrine. Um, it says hyphen share because she shared the video last week. So she had a couple of entries in there. I think she had a third one in there, but uh, it was one of her shares that um got her to win the card so corinne i don't think you've won before all i need is your mailing address so i can mail you your cards they'll have envelopes that'll come with them so just private message me your mailing address and i can get your prizes out to you um, in the mail in the next day congratulations and then while i have this here let me open Oh, I think I took pictures. I think that's what I did. I took pictures of what I was talking about. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. So, okay, look at this. This was one of the things that I saw on Kirkland's website, and it's a block. It's like a plaid tree word block. Um, from what I gathered, it's, it's like a wood piece of mm, decoration, I guess you could say gonna zoom in a little bit more but you can see it's it's rectangular it has Merry Christmas and it has some uh, trees in plaid 
And I was like, oh, I make, I can make that. <laughs> That's only $10, but I was thinking about when it comes to cards. So having, let me see if I can get that glare off there. I think I just made it worse. There we go. It's probably going to start slipping, but I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. I think it's going to slip here. But I made... I made it. <laughs> I made it using... This is going to drive me nuts slipping like that. But, okay, let's just do that. Sorry. Hi, Bonnie. Let me get that out of the way, because this... This uh, glare is driving me nuts because it's slipping. Ooh. Anyway, so you see the um, the little decoration piece from Kirkland's, and then I made it into a card. Hey, Darla. I'm just showing, um, I saw a couple of things on Kirkland's website, and you know me, I was like, I can make that so this was a wood block kind of decoration thing and I made it into a card and so let me put this off to the side I'm sorry for the glare on that um, but I made it using uh, perfectly plaid and if you remember perfectly plaid was actually um, in the holiday catalog last year and it has a coordinating tree punch and I was like, I want to do that. Now, I also had the option of using, we do have a background stamp that's called Buffalo Check. And you can make your own paper. Whatever color you want, you can make it. Um, I have an Echo. Maybe it's because of my iPad. Let's see. I'm not sure. Well, that's muted. Um, tell me if I still have an echo. I don't, I'm not sure why I have an echo this time. But uh, we also had the option of using buffalo check. But I wanted to make it simple, and I thought, let's just use perfectly plaid and use the punch and then make a card like that. And you, you probably can't see it from this angle, let me see. Oh, there you go. But I did emboss that paper so that it's not just plain and, and white and, um, and smooth. I embossed it. And don't ask me. Let's see. I, I think I can check real quick what embossing folder that is. I'm looking in the back of my catalog. I didn't write it down before... Oh, it's subtle. It's it's called subtle. It's a embossing folder called subtle. And we're actually going to be using it. So only because what I did is I stamped and then I um, did the embossing for it. So let's go ahead and get started on that. We literally are just using uh, whisper. We're using whisper white. get this folded in half so I don't go cutting it accidentally and then I already have my piece of whisper white mat which is the four by five and a quarter and because the the stamp is a photopolymer stamp I'm going to be using the foam mat underneath this Make sure I'm doing this on the right side there. And I'm going to be stamping it in Memento ink. Let's see. Marianne says, share to Jennifer alone by accident, then share. I can't. Oops. Did I just do the wrong? Oh, no. I wanted to make sure. I think I'm just using Memento ink on all of these. Now, you know with the Memento ink, you can actually press down pretty hard on that to make sure you get good coverage. On any of the other ones, I would tell you, don't press down too hard. Just tap, tap, tap. 
and then we're just going to stamp Merry Christmas at the bottom, give it just a little bit of pressure, and lift it straight up. And then let me close that for now. Let me move that off to the side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and emboss this really quick. So you know I'm gonna bring over the, the embossing the die cut and embossing machine and we're going to slip that on the inside and then I'm going to line it up because I do want it to be even there. So let's get that in and then let me get my right sandwich. Just this one and then let's run that through. that out of the way. That's the only thing we're going to be using because the other uh, trees can get punched out. I just wanted to stamp that first and then do the embossing. But you can see it's a real subtle, I guess that's why they named that embossing folder subtle. Hey look, it's my Uncle Pete watching. Hey Uncle Pete, you going to come watch me make a card today? Okay, so then now we have that piece right there. We're going to go ahead and mat that on our piece of our base. So let me get my, my snail or my seal and let's get that part down. This one is super simple, you guys. Super simple. Oops, hover it a little bit before you go putting it down. Just make sure it's even all the way around and then I already have my pieces of cherry cobbler this is cherry cobbler and this is mossy meadow and then we are going to be using the memento ink to stamp the plaid tree so you've got three different kinds of trees in this stamp set and we're going to be using the plaid one so what we're doing is just ink it up Get it nice and coated. That, that seems like it would be dark, but let's go for it. Oh, I guess it's fine. And we're going to do two of them on each. I forgot to use my mat underneath, but it seems like it's doing pretty good. Only because the surface I have underneath is, is pretty, it's a pretty flat, hard surface. Okay, and then now once we have those stamped on our cardstock, we'll be using the punch in order to punch these out. So just line it up. It's always easiest to do it upside down so that you can see exactly where you're going to be punching. Just punch those out. Hope everybody's enjoying their Sunday wherever you are. I made some, um, the cooler weather has got me already craving hot tea. And so about an hour before I got ready, I went in there and I brewed me up some hot tea. And so I've been sipping on some hot tea off to the side. I'm trying to get this lined up. But here we go. It's the hot tea, coffee, hot cocoa kind of weather. So then now we have all our trees and we're gonna be using dimensionals, the large dimensional. So let's get a dimensional on the back of each one of these. Oops. And we can go ahead and put them on after we get them on, get a dimensional on and you wanna just flip-flop them from green to red green to red and then we're not gonna put them all at the same level it's gonna mix it up a little bit so it looks like there's some dimension to each one of these trees 
them. And then the last one will be kind of down here. And there you have it. That's card number one right there. And then look at, if you missed it in the beginning, I am, um, I'm replicating what I saw online on Kirkland's website. This is some kind of a wood block, a Merry Christmas wood block plaid little home deco thing. And I was like, I can make that. We're going to make it Stampin' Up! style. So there you go. You can use, um, like I said, you can use the perfectly plaid stamp set or you can use the buffalo check and make your own plaid paper. And just so you know where I got that sentiment from, hey Evelyn, just where you know where I got that sentiment from, I took the sentiment off of the tag buffet stamp set because it seemed to be the one that was the closest as far as um, the font. But it's super cute, super cute and super easy. So if you haven't made your Christmas cards, uh, definitely make it. Evelyn, I'm just showing you how you can make things that are on Kirkland's website. I saw a couple of things and I was like, I gotta make them, I gotta make them. So, and then so now the next one was this pillow. This was a plaid wreath monogrammed pillow that they're selling for like $34.99. And you know me, I was like, I can make that. That is so, that's so a card. So we're gonna be making that. That's the next little project that we're gonna make. And I went ahead and made one, but um, I made one using the plaid paper, the Christmas plaid paper uh, from Plaid Tidings because we have this paper in our uh, mini catalog, the six by six plaid tidings. But when I started going through it and I was looking for the exact um, paper that seems to be in that, in that picture, I realized it was the back of this. It's this larger one. And I had already used most of that except for one sheet. So when I did the sample, I used the next one in line that was really similar and then uh, saved the one sheet I had for the demonstration. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that. And this one just required um, a lot of die cutting. So let's get started on that one. Uh, we're just using our Whisper White base. Let me get my supplies right here. So we have our Whisper White base, and then we have a piece of basic black card stock. There's no ribbons. Um, the only accessory on here are some red rhinestones. So sorry about that glare. Let me see if I can take that glare off just a little bit there. So we're going to mount this piece of card stock onto our base. And then we can actually go ahead and mount this piece of plaid uh, designer series paper on here as well. Because like I said, there's no ribbons. We don't have to worry about ribbons or anything like that. And by the way, this designer series paper is one of the, the papers that's still on sale, you guys. So if you haven't taken advantage of that sale, you have till the end of this month, and then after that, it's back to full price. Now, I used the uh, the layering circles framelits, and this one is, which one is this one? This one seems to be the one in the two inch baby, the two inch circle. Um, and I used this as a guide. So once I got this down, I just put some adhesive on the back Let's get that down and we're going to get that down right in the middle. And I helped use that as a guide for um, the greenery. Now the greenery came from the Forever Flourishing, um, the Flourishing Dyes. Let's see, what's the name? What's the official name of that? 
see if I can see what the name of it is. It's Forever Flourishing Dyes. And so if you are familiar with the the Forever Greenery Suite in the annual catalog, you know this is part of those dyes. I just cut out a bunch of these. Actually, I was able to do them two at a time. And I'm using this black circle as my guide. And I'm just sticking a glue dot in the middle of all of them. And I'm going to go, I went from the top to bottom. And then I'm going to go from left to right. Because I want to make sure that these are even. And that just helps start to cover up that circle. And then once I'm done with that, I actually put a couple of layers on here. Then I went kind of, I just kind of turned it a little bit so that they're not all on top of each other. So then I kind of did can't think of my directions right now but I went from the top left to the bottom right <laughs> and then you can go to the top right back to the bottom left I think I might have said that first one the wrong the first time but you you can see what I'm doing I'm just trying to fill up those areas and later if you want you can always put some glue dots down to help hold that down now this is where I ran into a little bit of problem because I don't have, and I'm looking for them so that you can see what I'm talking about. In your annual, in your annual catalog on page 178, there is a die that's part of the playful uh, pattern suite. And it's these dies that have all of these letters and numbers and different symbols. I don't have that. And that would have been perfect for right there. So. What I did have is I kept one of our retired sets, and some of you that are watching may uh, recognize this die. We used to have these other dies before, so I ended up using uh, pulling out the R in in there. And you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it down. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the little dimensional down, but I'm not going to take the backings off. Only because whoever wins this card, I think I may just put their initial down on there instead of mine. So I didn't put the, um, I didn't take the backings off. But that, once you take the backings off, then you would just put it right on top. And then to finish it off, we have our red rhinestones. They're small and they're tiny and just the perfect size to be used as, what is it? What are they called? The little berries in the holly. So I'm just gonna put little groups of three kind of here and there. I think I used three different one, three different sides on my sample. Let's see get one over here that way it looks like a little cluster of, of little berries on the holly or the wreath I'm gonna put another one over here it's like it needs another one it needs another one over here on this side yeah those glue dots are down pretty loose so I may go back through and and put some glue dots underneath to help hold that down so there you go. So that was my sample that I did, but this is what I really wanted to recreate. Oh, hi, Yolanda. Um, so if, if you're ever in Kirkland's and you see this particular pillow for $34.99, you can stop and think, oh, I can make that a card. And you certainly can. That R is down there loose, but there is card number two. So if you missed the first part of it, um, that was card number one. Sorry about that glare, you guys. That was card number one. 
It was a wood block decorative set off the Kirkland's website and I turned it into a card and then that was the pillow that was in the second picture. So look, it's true when you see things out in the stores and you're like, I could make that. You really can make it and even with Stampin' Up, uh, we, we tend to see things out that we're like, oh, we could so make that with some stamp, that new stamp or the old stamp or whatever, the paper or make your own, you know, um, you know, make your own uh, designs, backgrounds, whatnot. So nice, cute. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's cards. Um, that was just a cute little spin-off. Whoever wins the, the cards next week's drawing, um, I will replace this R with whatever their initial is. That way it's really customized when it gets to them. But that's just sitting in there for right now. So thank you guys for all your hearts. Y'all have a lovely Sunday rest of your afternoon. Come back next Sunday afternoon at 3 and join me. And congratulations on our winner. Um, don't forget to message me your your mailing address so I can get you your prize. So you guys have a lovely, at, well, the rest of your afternoon and the rest of your evening. Okay? Thanks. Bye-bye.